2009 began on a high note for Moorhead State, scoring 61 points in the season opener en route to winning two of its first three games. However, things went south following a September 26th overtime loss to Butler as the Eagles dropped seven straight to finish a disappointing 3-8. But that was then and the new season is now. And with six starters returning on offense and five on defense, Coach Matt Ballard knows there's a lot to play for in 2010. God gave you two eyes in the front of your head for a reason. Let's look this way. And you don't look back. If you look back, you're going to stumble and fall and you're going to get whacked. And so the great thing was, and where all this started, was just that determination and that drive and that competitive spirit in our second season, our off season, and all the leadership stuff you work on and all the conditioning drills and all the lifting and all the competition stuff. And, and so it is a new day and it, it's a new year and it's a completely different football team. The thing is with you know, how you have prepared yourself and how you look forward, that, that gives you your mindset and that gives you the, the faith and the hope to let's go forward and let's, let's go get them, boys. Let's go get them. I think we're definitely game ready. Like throughout this whole camp, we've been doing really well. I mean, if we had to go out and play a game, we, we don't have to worry about like if this guy knows what he's doing or if he doesn't know what he's doing. Like we all know our jobs and we can go out and play a team right now and I feel pretty confident that we can win the game. Moorhead State will go into the new season with a brand new starting quarterback and sophomore Zach Lewis. Last season, Lewis played in seven games, passed for 813 yards and four touchdowns, but his track record is very impressive. He's the state's all-time leading passer in high school with more than 13,000 yards at Clay County. And that gives Coach Matt Ballard plenty of reason to be optimistic. He's turning into a very special player. Uh, his presence, his confidence, his poise, his command of the offense, he exudes confidence. He makes this entire football team better. He's got the best eyes vision of anybody I've ever been around. And he's a sophomore, true sophomore. Got lightning quick release, and this guy's going to do great things. And There's 100 kids out here looking for me, you know, they've, they've heard, you know, so they expect me to, to do great things, you know. Um, I, just, I just can't worry about that. I just got to go out and win ball games. Right, right now, as a team, we feel like we can't be beaten, you know. <laughs> And uh, we, got, we go out every day of practice, and we, and we play hard, and we have fun. You know, we just got to keep having fun and play the game the way it's supposed to be played. The Eagles will kick off the new season Saturday, September 4th at James Madison, a full scholarship program that has won four of the last six meetings with Moorhead State. The Dukes are also just six years removed from a 2004 FCS national championship. I don't care if it's us versus them or whether it's Appalachian State playing Michigan. Game's not played, not one on paper. You know, if it's played, we, you know, we might as well stay here and go to Cave Run Lake, you know. Uh, but we're not going to Cave Run Lake. We're going to Harrisburg, Virginia, and we're going to win a football game. We're going to have a great plan. We're going to believe in our plan. We're going up there to play our hearts out and figure out, find a way to win a football game. And uh, it can happen. But now we got to go play.